Alright there ladies and gentlemen, John Sweepy here bringing you part 2 of the Monochrome Mapping Project Let's Play. The comments in the uh, for the last part, the initial opening map of Dada, were somewhat of a mixed reaction. Some people liked the map, some for its gameplay and some mainly for its visual design if anything else, while others on the comments and indeed in the Doom World forum Fred have said that the level is a little too easy and isn't just isn't really tricky or anything special. So a bit of mixed reaction to the opening map. Anyway, today we're going to visit the second map of the ward, and that means we're going to use the same cheat as we did in Coffee Break. So we're going to type in ID1202 into the console, which brings us to the Temple of Light, and today's map creator goes by the name of S A W D or Swordy for short. Looks like we have 140 monsters and 3 secrets. And absolutely no music whatsoever. Which seems to be a theme of the uh, Monochrome Market Project as well. Several of the maps don't contain music. Or at least not according to the readme file. Hmm. Got a... Uh, this is kind of interesting here. We've got sort of cord whites. Hmm. It's supposed to be all about a grey texture, but we got like these weird green and blue lights. Hmm, apparently we need a blue skull to open this door. So these lights here uh, seem to be acting as like the uh, key. Very interesting. With some green lights under here. This is very uh, <laughs> different from the last ones. Instead of sort of glowing Tron like textures, we have these glowing lights. Very interesting. <laughs> door! <laughs> oh, thanks for telling us it's a door game. I would have no idea otherwise. Uh oh, I think we've unleashed. Hmm, got some imps and a zombie pistol man. Him out of the equation. Oh, we've got some shotgun jerks over there. Dealt with. So this is already a, a dramatic change from the last map, if nothing else. Oh wow, the sky? Wow, that sky looks awesome. I think that's thunder and lightning too. Hmm. So we should go off these pesky imps up here. I mean, it might be a waste of ammo, but as the last map showed, ammo was a plentiful on Dada, so I don't expect any different on the temple white, really. So I'm not going to be too worried about ammo conservation this time around. Unless I'm proven horribly wrong in a moment. Ooh. <laughs> that was a nice hidden armor there. <laughs> Is that the switch to go down by any chance? <laughs> I guess so. So an interesting sort of... Very, ooh, a bit of a quiet map here. Hmm. Uh-oh. I hear the door open. I'm going to have to punch this guy out, though. I just want to... really want to... Yeah, we're going to imp deal with the... Uh, hmm, I don't want to do the same tactic for an uh, imp. Not for a shotgunner. Ow! Go oh, down, dude. Yeah, shotgun time. Take that. And you, too. Oh, there was another shotgunner. Okay. Bit of a tight co corridor of imps and things there. Let's go back and get that health kit. A search. So, I think that this map's going for a bit more of an atmospheric feel, although I'm not quite sure what kind of atmosphere. Very uh, interesting. There's a green light again. Ooh, we got a skull structure over there. Hmm. We've got red over here. Red skull going to be needed. Hmm, very interesting layout this level has. The whites indicate doors. We got some obvious signs for doors. Oh god, we get away. And to be careful since I left this door, because one of the nasty things that hit scanners tend to do sometimes is uh fire in advance. As soon as you open the door, they can sometimes be beating getting a bee on you as soon as you open the door. Of course, this can also be used to your advantage. On occasion, focus down the. Uh, I'm actually running a bit low on ammo here, which is a bit disconcerting. Hmm. 
Yeah, I was wrong to call the Elmo sufficient on the last map. That's only applied to that map. Alright, we've got a bit of a... Oh no, there's some shot. So we're good. Alright. Gonna punch out the pinky. Or pinkies, I should say. Gonna use the imp for some extra damage. Perhaps he will toy do a bit more damage in our fists. Maybe get a bit of infighting going. But this is a really good idea because if you can get used to this kind of stupid Gimson's getting in the way now. It's actually if you really if you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy to kite the pinkies with the uh, regular fist. You don't even need Berserk. Just as long as you have enough time to do it, of course. Otherwise I wouldn't recommend wasting your time because you'll be cornered. But really pinkies are very easy to kite, as I've probably said in a previous video. Ah now this is more like it. Now we got chunks of ammo, thanks to the generous plentifulness of those shotguns. Dudes. Up to 29 on the old kill count. Hmm, doesn't seem too difficult so far, but I have been told that the levels get easier after Dada, so <laughs> if Dada was easy, this is probably easier. Hmm, I'm not liking this setup though. This is a bit suspicious. Hmm, For maybe later. Again? Uh-oh. I hurt. Oh shit! No! I not do that, necessarily. It's alright, though. No, we were able to back away. Punch out another pinky. <laughs> Still, at least it's... Oh, another one, huh? Get over there. I mean, I could use a shotgun, but... Ow! Alright. Fuck you, then. We'll use a shotgun. That's how you're gonna be, hmm? Mr. There's the distinct sound of a hit scan. Butter. You know what? This is reminding me of all these distinct glowing colours. It reminds me a bit of Afraid of Monsters, Director's Cut. Which had the glowing lights for switches. Just a little something like that. Ooh, wow, I like this. Hello, and welcome to the throne room. Here is the blue skull key. Bonk. Why do I now hear... Something's been activated. Oh! The outside is exposed! As a matter of fact. <laughs> Little guy took out the shotgun. I can see the shotgun. Ow! Screw you. And you. Ooh, look, there's some health over here. Aw, oh, man, I swam away to only graze that shotgun. Ow. Yeesh. And you go. <laughs> Mr. Shotgun Guy. That was kind of a sort of a basic opening, really, but eh. It's nice that the level opened up around the previous claustrophobic staircase. That was a nice touch there. And we still must go on the secret hunt. It seems like this level is a little bit more simple. The design seems relatively simple so far. Nothing really outstanding. Hmm. Not like the last map, which was a bit of a visual detour from the norm. But the grey texture use is nice. I'm just going to go back and get that health kit from there and those as well. So I'm doing it from a pistol start. I'll need to be mindful of keeping my health relatively high. Hmm. I can actually save here. Probably not really necessary, but yeah, maybe a time saver. You never know when the water's going to get more tricky. So we've got imps on the sides, more shotguns up ahead. We'll get the chain gun at some point again, that would be nice. Now this time we're gonna have to kill the pinky straight away. Because otherwise we get have to go into a very awkward situation. Hmm. Deal with you later. More blue glowing lights. I'm liking these lights. I guess the lights technically aren't really part of the pre-established uh, theme of the wad, but I think a lot of people sort of slightly deviated from only having grey and thingy textures after a while. Somewhat. Not all of them did, just a, maybe a little bit of something. But I think the world creators didn't mind so much about the sort of slight deviance from keeping things grey and black and white, as long as the levels themselves were good. Which, this one isn't too bad so far, I guess. Hmm, now why is there what appears to be some kind of an octagon shaped thing over there. I wonder if there's going to be an arena later on we'll have to explore. Some interesting possibilities if that's the case. 
Hmm, going on more of the grayness. More, yet more dinkies. Hmm, save time, I'm gonna shotgun him since I have some ammo to spare. And I'll finish you off with the fists! Get out. Not gonna be too hard to deal with. And there's an input there. Input there. On the sides. And look, another button. Now something else has been lowered. Hmm. Wonder what's been lowered this time. Something quite close to where we pressed the button itself, so... Oh, I see. It lowers half of that door. Very nice. I guess now we have to go to the... Ooh, more of these really... Kind of like the way they're positioned as well. The, uh... Have time to switch back then, given the... Very claustrophobic... Oh, God! I missed that guy. What could we... He mostly missed me. That was a... That was a one-way ticket to pain and suffering if I'd missed. Ow. And I'm not paying attention to that guy either. That doesn't help. Oh, man. Too many shotgun blasts missing the target. Here. And there. Ow! Ah, oh, stupid monster. Ow. I'm trying to check for secrets. I'm getting caught out by hit scans too much. Oh, God. Oh, another one. And an imp. Great. So far, no look on the secret side of things, but the room is at least clear. Very nice uh, use of the coloured um, lights here to sort of give off the gl uh, give off a sort of that. Uh, oh boy, this does not look promising. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we've seen this one before, haven't we? I think I saw this in Double Impact. In fact, the pillars are going to wall, revealing monsters. Oh. I stand corrected. Really? <laughs> okay, I honestly expected the pillars to roll at that point. <laughs> Very strange. I'm going to check them all as well, just in case one of them might be a uh, secret. That is kind of unusual. I'll give the props to that. That was kind of one of those situations where you're expecting an ambush, it seems laid out as one, and then... No. Not the case. Huh. Clever. I wonder if that was done deliberately to fool the player. Why, maybe S or D knows that some players will expect that, and then tricks them, going, ha, that ri isn't really what I wanted to do. <laughs> eh, well, seems a bit of a waste otherwise, but whatever. Ooh, nice. I like that door opening. That was very impressive. There's the red skull. Ooh, love the staircase. Really nice. Ooh, Candles! Atmospheric! Leads to the Red Skull. Really loving the uh, lighting, it's very nice. Oh, don't want to go down there though, I don't think. That's probably going to be a step in the wrong direction. A one-way ticket possibly to death, and the eternal void of the damned, perhaps. Alright, so let's get out of the blue room. Oh! Chain Gunner! And his friend! Chain Gunner 2! And now I have the Chain Gunner at last! Excellent! I hope this will be useful. So, speaking of the Chain Gun, I was given a tip on the last video by Patrick 4 Lira Blonde, who basically mentioned something called a staccato trick, where apparently the first, um, the first shot of the Chain Gun, trying to get some fighting here, not working, so I'm going to punch you out. Just trying to have a punch out on this guy. Trying to save yet more shotgun bullets. If possible. He, he basically said that um, there's a trick where. Oh, I don't want to consider that one now as a shotgun shirt. Now we have to kill him. Well, that goes out the window as soon as a hit scan appears. Hopefully they will fight each other. Mine, I'll just. Oh, he did it. And the imp won. But basically, he said that the first shot of the chain gun is apparently 100% accurate, no matter how it's fired and what distance. So, I just said it's 100% precise. Now, burst firing the chain gun is useful for conserving ammo, but I did not know about the, um, the ladder. Ooh, I think we just found a secret. And we have. 
very obvious one as well, I might add. Oh well. So apparently the um grab this health pack here, make it safe, got the red door. So basically, I've always known about using the chain gun in burst to save ammo, but I didn't know that the first bullet was super accurate. That that is actually news to me. I have to admit. So I will be using that perhaps from now on. Now it, it doesn't do me any more damage, but it's apparently super accurate. That could be useful for long range sniping, although I can't think of any other use. Oh, I get caco demons. Yep. Yes. Yes! Go, Pinky! Attack the Kaka Demon! Let's get some infighting done. It's actually kind of hard for Pinkies to infight because they have to fight the same way they do the players, so sometimes it's very. You, send, you can spend a while waiting for the Pinky to actually get the damage done for an infight to start happening. So let's just try that. Hmm. I don't think it does any more damage, but. It might be useful for long range, so I might try that next time I need a bit of a sniping. I don't want to use the shotgun. Come here. Get out of here, stupid thing. Run away with you, don't you. Maybe now will be a good example. Hmm, this might be good. That's <laughs> This will be a good example. Let's put it to the test. Snipe those things over there. Oh, God. After we deal with the caca demon, perhaps. A very uh, sort of chasm, I suppose. Need to traverse. Hmm, just a chain gun here. Yeah, wait, you can burst fire, and apparently that's going to be uh, more accurate. So, thank you for that tip, hat trick for the blonde. I will be using that in the future. Oh. Try not to pick up the. Uh, Try not, try not to pick up the uh, health kits there, lest I waste the ass there. I don't know, it doesn't actually look like it would be deadly down there, but you don't really know. Anyway, we'll just take out these guys. Deal with the zombie men. Oh, we got some company behind us. It's a bit of nervy. Oh, ow! I don't want to fall down there particularly, and there's a lot of fireballs coming in. Okay, now we can more carefully traverse. It doesn't actually look deadly down there, does it? But it could be a, it could be designed to be an insta kill sector. I don't know, and I'm not going to risk it. Not one bit. Hmm. I wonder if it's possible to run off that edge. And keep in mind, we cannot jump or crouch. So if we were to do this, we'd have to do like a proper run. Hmm. No, maybe not. That torch would probably block the way. So we won't try that. At this point, more candles. Really nice. Oh god, this room looks quite something. Got another room full of red and candles. Very nice. Looks like we got some long range sniping to practice. <laughs> something that gets told in the last video suddenly so becomes extremely relevant in this video. Hmm, not quite aiming right there. Now the other aiming is getting in the way, so I can't even attack the uh... Oh god, I hear a shotgun somewhere. Get more of those super accurate chain gun blasts. I saw you down there, you stupid... Ow, ow, alright, jeez, Kakademon, you wanna die first? Fine. You're right, it did seem to work, travel quite a distance. Excellent. Ow. You're right, those shots do seem to be really accurate. Ah. Get out of it. Stupid. Ow. And you. Scoot. Oh god, we need some health. I need home health and some ammo. Let's head back quickly. There we go. Don't want to pick up the shotgun shells just yet. I'm not doing too bad on those. Whoa, don't fall down. <laughs> don't rush too much. <laughs> That would not be a good idea either. Looks like we're going to have to drop down here. Hmm. I am, I am liking the atmosphere of this map. It's not exactly something that completely blows me away, but it definitely is... something. Again, a nice amount of visual detail has been put on this map in a different way. All the candles and cliff placements and... Where's that imp doing? I think that imp is stuck here. That imp is stuck! 
<laughs> there really was. The imp was stuck. Oh no. It's like a huge sort of cave area. Hmm, looks like we're going to be going across the side here. Oh! I can even have another idea. I want to try and kill it with a shotgun. But it's knocking it away. Let's get some more this long range staccato style chain gun on it. BAM! Down it goes. Alright, need to do a quick little maneuver there. Don't want to pick up the health kit. Aw, oh, man! Not even that I pick up the health kit, but a freaking zombie guy showed up. Oh, that was such a horrible waste right there. That sucks. It looks like some of these imps are a little bit stuck. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Oh, no. Do we have to run across here? Yep. It looks like we do. Hmm. What the heck is this? Are we supposed to run across there, too? Hmm. I can't tell what's going on now. Are we supposed to do a bit of platforming in Doom? Wow. This is kind of something you don't normally do in Doom. You don't really want to be doing platforming. It's not Doom strength, you see. Alright, let's go. Oh, wow. You can just about make it. Just about. Jeez. I thought being said it wasn't that bad. I mean, at least you know where to go. Platforming in Doom can kind of be a bit of an iffy issue, to be honest. Mostly because, well, it's not really designed for, like, precision platforming. Even though there are, like, wads and mods that do make Doom more platformer friendly. And jumping does definitely allow for a bit more options. But generally, it's not a good idea to kind of, uh, introduce platforming in Doom, usually. This doesn't seem that bad, though, so I might let off the hook. What's up here? Hmm. It's not going to be the exit, is it? I was kind of hoping... I think this might be the exit. I'm not going to go there just yet. There's four more enemies I want to check out first. Hmm. Uh, I don't think we can go over there. Uh, looks like we have no choice but to go up here. Hmm, only one secret. That's a bit disappointing. Unless this decides to switch. Ah, not quite done yet then. Hmm. I'm gonna save here. Hmm, for some reason. <laughs> Might also be unnecessary, but let's see. This is okay. I'm definitely suspicious of this room. Very suspicious. Oh, hello. Whoa, what the heck? Whoa, was that a mirror? Oh, where are we now? Oh, wow, we've gone back to the start of the level. <laughs> through the mirror. Hmm, huh. that was interesting, to say the least. Uh, huh. Oh, I need a yellow skull. Hmm. Why is the entrance area we came in... Oh, I just realized, um, there's another blue skull door. I guess we—I guess that was the way back. Oh no! Now we have to go all the way back again. Damn it! That was a shortcut. Ah, oh, we have to load that. <laughs> that's a bit of a waste. I guess that's how you exit the level. Well, yeah, it looks like a cool little mirror effect. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most handsome Doom guy of them all? <laughs> hmm. Nice, nice mirror effect. All right, let's pick up this skull. Okay, is that it? Nothing? Wow. <laughs> a, a nicely decorated room, but no payoff. Okay. <laughs> I guess the, I guess again, like with the last level, the author went more for attempting interesting visual design, not really outstanding gameplay, but this is a bit different. I still like it. It's very nice. I'm not complaining or anything. It's just... <laughs> It's kind of average in the gameplay department, but it's still fun to play. Anyway, this is the final door. Two more demons await us! And since there's only a few monsters left, I guess we'll just bludgeon them out of the way. Okay. <laughs> what with the sudden inclusion of ammo and shotgun shells? Now I'm a, now I'm a little suspicious. This is a little, this is a little generous for only having two monsters left in the level. They're gonna make us fight cyber demons, are they, or something like that? Oh no! 
Whoa, hello! What's that? Oh my, that is creepy as fuck, man. Whoa. What is that thing? That is... What the fuck is that? Whoa. Oh. Oh! Hello! Balance! No, oh, just two balance. Okay. Cool. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! How the could we place? We have to sort of keep an eye on the other one while trying to just take out his colleague. That is a really creepy statue at the end there, sort of. Oh god, I nearly... Oh no, I don't, I don't think I can take another hit from these dudes. I need to be careful. No, don't get killed. Let's try and end this without a death to it, unlike the last map. It's very kind of awkward, mostly because we don't have any of the high-tech weapons that you'd normally have with a barrel. This actually makes it a bit more prolonged than it would normally be. Which makes it really kind of a... Ah, that'll make it like, you know. Now we have to we just pin them together and kill this guy. No problem. Kind of an interesting ending right there. Not challenging in the sort of way that if you pay attention too much to the one of the barons, you'll get flanked by the other like I did. But not really all that difficult. But definitely a, a nice visual creepy statue at the end. That, that amused me for a second. I honestly thought we might see like a, a miniature Mamero head or something. But no, that's that's it. <laughs> wow, that was kind of a... I like, oh, and it, it even opens its head. Oh, it, it is really it's like a statue head. That's kind of cool. Very nice uh, texture work there, uh, Swordy. Very nice. Kind of a decent ending to this... Uh, I'm oh, going to go back to where we came, so I guess we go through here. Ooh, what's out there? It's like the endless void or something. Well, let's go through, I guess. Oh, and the level's over. Okay, that was the uh, the Temple of Light by Sword E. Sword, I guess. Whatever you want to, however you pronounce that name, maybe you can tell me if you're watching this. That was a uh, that was an alright level. Uh, it definitely liked the, uh, the the lights. The lights looked nice. The um, the interesting way of indicating the door colors was cool. I like the uh, the sort of good use of gray textures, and it wasn't really difficult, but it was at least interesting, especially with the lack of music. I'd say it's a bit like, it's a bit like Dada, but more prolonged. It's very good for visually, but not really a gameplay challenge, or it's not much special-ish. But overall, well executed, a nice second level for the monochrome mapping project. Which took me 25 minutes, 49 seconds, and I missed out on two secrets. Oh well. And it did, it, and it did indeed live up to its name of being the Temple of Light. And the ending was nice, I like the balance. And again, minimal use of the weapons, only chain gun and a shotgun. I wonder if that's going to carry on for any more levels. Anyway, let's see what's up for next time. Well, this is not grey. <laughs> Support storage? This is not grey at all! I demand an explanation! <coughs> Alright then, so... <clears throat> that was the Temple of Light. What did you think of the Temple of Light? Did you think that the cord lights looked nice, or do you think that was cheating? Did you like the ending with the barons and the creepy face? And can anyone explain why this is not at all grey? I'm seeing orange and red. <laughs> what do you think will happen in support storage for next time around? And are there any more tricks I can learn, maybe with a shotgun or something? Other than that, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all next time for the third map, support storage. And maybe we'll find out why it's not black and white. Or grey. See you later, Doomers!